and welcome back to the channel again today i'll be showing you how to test the ignition coil packs to see if they are firing to see if they have a spark without being connected to the engine without being used by the pcm when the car is running just by using simple tools here and a 12 volt battery so let's get started all right the stuff i'll be using here a pair of gloves spark tester of course the ignition coil packs these are from toyota vehicles by the way and i have installed the wires already to save some time you can see some alligators right there toyota vehicles uh these ones are from cadillac from cadillac vehicles but i will not be doing that in, uh, this one and this video i'm gonna be using this battery type c Duracell. you can use type d now this have one point and a half volt so i have made a battery here from these ones you can also do it from this one here three batteries here three batteries they make about uh, four and a half volt so between four and a half and five volt that should be fine because that is the perimeter from the manufacturer in this case this is another battery made from these ones here so you can use whatever you want and in this case and of course the 12 volt battery right here and uh, it has to be very well charged so always make sure that it's uh, in very good condition first of all let me show you the order of the pins here number one two three four oops it's dark one two three four and number one is power number four here is ground the ignition feedback is the number two this one is the ignition timing the number three so this is the order of the pins here but i'll be showing you uh, with more details in a little while and how i'm gonna be making the setup all right here is the ignition coil pack as i'll be testing here and I'm, this is the spark, uh, spark tester as you can see i'm gonna be putting it here and i'm gonna put some tape here so you can hold it and nothing will be uh here nothing we're gonna see through here if it, there is a spark or there is nothing so let's see all right as you can see i already put some tape here to hold the spark tester and the ignition coil pack this is body chop tape by the way all right number one as i said it's going to here this is the positive on the battery and number four which is the last one on this uh, on this side here all the way on the on the left i'm gonna be putting it here right now just uh, without being connected right now all right number two here number two is going to the negative side negative side of the battery of the five volt battery this is the positive remember see i put some tape to hold it because at the end i got a pulse on this uh on this side here i'm gonna be pulsing with uh, wire number three wire number three which is this one here here number three which is ignition timing this is the last wire you connect the ignition timing all right once you're gonna start making the connections connecting all the wires just use gloves do not do this without gloves because remember the battery is very strong and uh, it might hurt you just be careful it might shock you and then you're gonna be in trouble all right that's this is number four ground this is number one positive remember i'm gonna put it on this side so it can be seen a little bit better right there this one is still with the same wire right there on the negative side remember the five volt battery wire number two pin number two on the on the ignition coil pack here and this is the last you connect as i'm saying because you're gonna be pulsing here don't hold the battery i mean this one specifically don't hold this battery like that and then being a uh, pulse in here uh pulsing to, uh trying to get spark from the ignition coil pack because you can make negative or either positive on one hand and you can complete a circuit if you make negative here and positive here uh this battery is gonna hurt you it's, it has the same power the same strength as if this ignition coil power will be in the vehicle connected to the vehicle and the engine will be running like when the pcm is using this this ignition coil pack so be careful with that it's the same it makes no difference so because this is the last uh, we connect okay. so now i'm gonna get that camera a little bit closer to see if we have a spark hopefully we have a spark all right this is the diagram here this is the ignition coil pack this is the front view the front view of the ignition coil pack 
here are the wires number one two three and four as you can see them here as you can see here on the software number one is plus is the positive and this is minor here this is negative this is pin number four if you follow the yellow line here it goes to the negative here on the 12 volt battery this is a 12 volt battery and this is plus here this is positive on the 12 volt battery follow the red line it comes to pin number one all right now that we know the positive and and ground here now let's uh, move to this here igf and igt ignition timing and ignition feedback or ignition confirmation signal igf signal goes back to the pcm through this wire here wire number two as you can see here this is a signal that is generated by the igniter inside the ignition coil pack and this is a signal that PCM uses to control the ignition timing here. So once the PCM receives this signal here, the PCM can control the ignition timing here with no problem. So now let's move to these two here. Uh, the same wire number two and wire number three, but to the small battery, the five volt battery here. Wire number two here goes to minus here, as you already saw, I had this with tape, so it wouldn't move on this side here, on the, on the negative side of the five volt battery. And finally, you come to the red one here, which is some pin number uh, number three, and you're gonna be pulsing here on this wire. As you can see here, you're gonna be pulsing to find out if there is spark or if this ignition coil pack is firing. That is the final step. You're not gonna connect this wire to the positive. You're only gonna be pulsing here. You'll see me pulsing on uh, on this on the positive on this on this battery here. So uh, let's see. Let's make the setup and uh, see. Basically here because. I'm gonna be uh, pulsing on the positive side of the 5 volt battery here and see if we have a spark. And remember, these ignition coil packs, they belong to Toyota vehicles. Basically, Toyota uses the same system, but if you're gonna do this, check the year and model. Even if it's a Toyota, it, it, would be, it could be different. This covers a lot of years, but not every model and year is the same. Now, gloves first on both hands, all right? As I said, do not hold with your other hand. If this moves, let it move or whatever, or put it in a place where it doesn't move, but do not be holding this and doing this like that because you can make positive and negative and it's gonna hurt you. Ah, open. Mm -mm. Hear me a little bit. Alright, as you already saw, this ignition coil pack is in very, in very good condition, it's in excellent condition, it's parking very strong with no problem. This is how you test the ignition coil packs manually with our, with our PCM, with our being connected on the vehicle. This is just manually with very simple tools. Alright, we're gonna try one more time here. Oops. Alright, so that is enough and you guys can see that the ignition coil pack is firing very strong with no problem and you have to know also the wire diagram. I forgot to mention this, uh, that since the beginning because otherwise you will not know what pin is, uh, is this one, what every wire controls here, every, I mean different circles, you remember? And also the, the perimeters, the specs of every manufacturer for that year, for that model since every few years everything changed with the manufacturers this wire here number two this is shared by all the ignition coil packs and these toyota vehicles all right very simple way to test the ignition coil packs manually you need just a couple of tools and simple tools you need fancy tools or anything like that so if you think this video was helpful for you please consider to subscribe to my channel like my videos thank you and god bless you all